then we are, we're assuming we paid cash, even though you know we didn't. So it should you would think it would be, well, we may not have paid all cash. We probably financed. That's probably part of our our process that we'll have to deal with. And we may even have received some equipment and purchased some equipment. So there's more detail, but it looks like just from this that uh, that we purchased equipment and that which that should decrease our cash. So we're going to assume for now that we just pay cash for one piece of equipment and leave it at that. And we're going to say, okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to have to go back to that, but I'm going to leave it there, get in balance and then go back and fix it in a systematic way. And that's basically all we're going to have at this point in time for the net, for the net cash provided by, uh, or used in, in this case, invest in activities. So I'm just going to pull that down right now. I'm going to leave a space because I think there uh, was a sale and I know there was because we had a loss up in sale. So we're going to have another line item once we dig into this, which is going to be uh, cash received. Cash received from sale of equipment, but we don't know what that is yet. We'll, we'll work that out. So I'm going to sum this up. I'm going to sum these two columns up over here. I'm going to say equals the sum of these two columns. And that's what we have now. Next time we'll go through the cash flows from financing activities and that'll hopefully pick up uh, the remainder.